Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Aish Banaish and in this video I'm just going to be giving you a few updates on what's going on with me, what's going on with my channel, what's going on with my piercings and you know, some other stuff. So yeah, I haven't posted a video in maybe almost a month now and the reason for that is basically that I've been off work and because I hadn't taken any holiday for like the whole of 2017, like I hadn't taken any time off, I decided to give myself like a proper break, like not doing anything. I did plan like originally to like still upload videos while I'm off, like I had videos filmed, I just had to edit them. But to be honest, like to be completely honest, I just couldn't be bothered because I just needed a break. And then after like Christmas went and New Year's went, I just kind of felt like it was only a week left, so I might as well just give myself that time to properly relax anyway, because obviously Christmas and New Year it's full of doing shit, and you know, I just wanted a few days to relax at home and not do much. I've been watching Friends, which I've never seen before, like I've seen like two episodes when I was in primary school, but I'm really enjoying that, so that is what I've been doing. But yeah, I wanted to make this video because my boyfriend, who is also a YouTuber, pointed out to me that it is terrible to just suddenly take a break when you only put out one video a week anyway and then not even announce a break. So basically I now feel really guilty and I've been spending like the time since he said that to me working on stuff and trying to make up for the three weeks that I've done nothing. I mean I didn't do nothing, I did some admin bits on my sites, I did some orders from suppliers but yeah that is basically it. But yeah so anyway I've been like trying to make up for this blah 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 so here is your update video like after the break um to be honest like when I put this out the break isn't gonna be in session but I do have like some shit to tell you and ask you anyway so that is why I'm still making the video like even though the break's over if that makes sense. So yeah in terms of updates if you follow me on social media you would have seen that around sort of early mid-December I got my dermal redone but I mean as you can see now I don't actually have it I just have a mark and what happened with that is it was fine like it didn't even hurt really getting it redone blah 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 and then around sort of christmas time it got irritated and i remember it was like completely fine before that and then suddenly out of nowhere it was just irritated and i don't know if i knocked it or something like that i mean like this was during the day so i didn't sleep on it but yeah it just suddenly got irritated and this irritation basically I did my best to kind of like make it go down like I did my best to kind of reduce any swelling blah 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 keep it clean um and this irritation basically didn't want to go it ended up kind of changing the angle slightly of the dermal like instead of being flat it was kind of like coming out like that like say this is my skin it was just a bit like that so the bottom was flush but the top was just like not flush I don't know what the word for that is poking out um, anyway, so I still tried, you know, to reduce swelling, see if I could get it to settle a bit more in, blah blah blah, and, you know, all of that kind of shit, but it didn't want to happen. So yeah, I think it was like at the weekend, and this dermal was just causing me so much pain, like so much pain. When I say at the weekend, by the way, I mean last weekend, like the one just gone. And it was just really, really painful and it just wasn't settling and I knew it was kind of moving more and I was just trying to make it at least settle but at the same time I knew it was coming out. Like to be honest I feel like from the first time it got irritated I kind of felt like this is it but me being me I did everything I could to try and save it and I kind of feel like no matter how good I am with some piercings they just don't want to cooperate with me. So I was like looking at it and I could very clearly see the feet through my skin and I was kind of like, well, I don't want to like encourage it to come out because I know I'm a wuss. But eventually like feet were coming out anyway. But the problem is, is like the way my dermal had turned by then is that like the small foot was poking out the hole anyway, but the long foot was going like directly that way. Like it wasn't like, you know, like they normally kind of like this, but it was kind of like this kind of thing and um yeah trying to get that out with all the flesh attached around really fucking hurt so basically i'm kind of feeling that i'm not going to get this redone because it's a high movement area and that high movement area paired with my shitty healing just isn't doing me any good like i tend to heal so slowly with things anyway like i don't know why my body just doesn't really like piercings but yeah because of that i don't think i'm going to get it redone 
I did consider maybe getting a dermal in the future um, because I did really want a BVLA slasher dagger in white gold on my face but with this experience I'm kind of thinking I don't want to get a dermal on my face because I don't want a mark left on my face. So I'm now thinking maybe if I get my dermal a bit lower down on my chest like kind of just above my cleavage and put the white gold dagger there that might look really cool. So that's something I'm probably going to do in the future maybe I'm gonna still think about it I'm not sure how long it would last because I don't have a lot of flesh there and I'm not sure how well that would work but yeah as I said it's just an idea it's not something I'm gonna do anytime soon if I did decide to do it because I mean I don't know about you guys but I do not have money to just go out there and splash on BBLA I would need to think about it long and hard before I spend that kind of money on something that for me is probably going to come out pretty soon. So, you know, we'll see. Maybe I'll put that dagger somewhere else, but we'll see. But yeah, anyway, moving on. The bump on my nostril piercing came back. I think it was like very close to when I put out my update video and I kind of felt like I jinxed myself. But yeah, that was really annoying and it's still there and it's still thriving. Um, I'm trying to just leave it the hell alone and let it go on its own but I'm not sure how long that will take. But the other issue I have is probably like the most annoying one, probably, mm, I'm not sure. Basically, I've had a couple of issues with my quench punch and I'm not gonna go into them in detail because I'm gonna make a separate video on this, but I don't really wanna make a video on it without a solution. So I want to try and resolve the issue before I do that video, but I'm not actually sure how long that's gonna take. Like it could take months. So I might do like an intermediate video and then do like a resolution video. I'm gonna kind of see how it goes. But I've taken loads of pictures so you can see the stages of resolution anyway, even if you don't see it on video. Cause I mean, even if I film a video like this, you can't see my bloody crunch punch. I will try and do a video this month as like an intermediate video. But you know, if it's two weeks away from being resolved at the point that I'm trying to film, then I'm just gonna wait two weeks, to be honest. I much prefer making videos where I have all the information at that point. I hate making videos where it's like, blah, 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 and then, oh, we'll see how it goes. Like, you know when I get a new piercing and stuff like that, I hate how, all I can tell you is about getting the piercing. Like, that doesn't really mean shit, to be honest. Like, to me, like, the healing process is where shit, not gets interesting, because it's not interesting to have fucked up bumps everywhere but I I don't know it gives you something to talk about I guess but yeah anyway all of these things and my shitty healing process has kind of made me decide something I've decided many times but never really stuck to that I need to take a break from piercings like I don't know why I heal so badly and I feel like even when I try and make changes to my life to be healthier blah 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 it doesn't seem to have any effect, even when I baby piercings, even when I don't touch them at all, when I leave them the fuck alone. It doesn't seem to matter, my body wants to develop a bump. So what I am planning on doing is taking a bit of a break from piercings and focusing on getting tattoos. Because I do want a lot more tattoos, but the reason I haven't gotten more tattoos is because they're expensive. But I think this year I'm going to save and get some more tattoos and stuff, but... My dilemma, I guess, is that a lot of my content is based around me getting piercings. I do have one video of me getting tattooed, but that didn't do very well, but also I was quite a new channel then. So my question to you guys is basically, what else do you want to see? I already make tutorials, but if you have a specific tutorial you want me to make, or you want me to make more tutorials, then drop a comment below. I mean, I love making tutorials because I love teaching people how to do things, but I'm not gonna lie, they're a fucking pain to film. Like, the video I put out on, I think it was taking out your helix piercing a couple of weeks ago, okay, it was like a month ago now. But anyway, that was so fucking annoying to film and I put it off for like months because I didn't wanna film it. And the thing is, that video, I was mimicking my first ever video, but on a helix piercing, yeah? I went back and I watched my first ever video the other day and I didn't even demonstrate what I was doing. I just told you how to do it. And it's crazy because that video has nearly 200,000 views and I've made this much better version. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll kind of see how that goes. Um, it might, you know, take over and that will be the main tutorial. Hopefully it does because it is a much better version. But anyway, yeah, more tutorials. I would love to do them. The only issue I do have is they're tricky to film. 
um, it's not really an issue in me, like, I can still do them. But I would also like other types of content that are easier to film that I can, you know, put out more regularly. So yeah, my question to you guys is basically, what do you want to see on my channel? Like, I did an interview with my colleague a while ago, do you want more interviews with like body mod artists and piercers and stuff like that? Um, do you want jewellery hauls? Do you want to see me get tattooed? Like, what kind of stuff do you want to see? For the record, I do have a long list of video ideas, but the issue I'm having is that I'm either waiting for something to heal to film the video, like an update video, or I'm like waiting to have the right arrangements to film it. For example, if I need someone else's ear or whatever, or I need someone with a specific piercing, blah, blah, blah. And it's really fucking annoying. I will try and put these videos out eventually, but at the moment the way I'm filming and the people I have access to when I'm filming is limited. But you know, maybe I'll have to just borrow a colleague's ear or something for a little clip and then do the video at home or something like that. But yeah, please comment down below the kind of content you want me to do or if you have any questions that you want me to answer in a video or any of that kind of stuff. And I will see you in the next video and that shouldn't be too far away because I have those ones that I filmed and didn't edit yet.